Hello and welcome to Sobrix. I'm Adam and this is Sobrix. This is my channel for reviewing Lego sets and building them and other Lego related stuff. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at the brand new Lego Dreams, Izzy and the Bunchu the Bunny. Izzy and Bunchu the Bunny. This is set number 71453. It has 259 pieces and I paid $20 for this set. Now, this is one of the new um, sets from the new line, the Lego Dreams. There's a TV show and um, this officially comes out August 1st, 2023, I believe. I was able to get some of these sets before they released. I'm not affiliated with any company. I don't get sent these for free. I paid for this like everyone else. Lego Group doesn't send me a press kit or anything. Um, I'm just sometimes able to get these certain sets early. Um, so I've built one uh, Lego Dream set already, and I kind of was surprised by the the you know the different options. And so I haven't figured out yet how I'm going to. Um, do this one uh, but we'll sort of see and uh, either way in this video I'm going to open this up I'm going to put this together and then I'm going to share my thoughts on it so while I build I will speed the video up and then I'll slow it back down to review this set so until then enjoy okay so while we are going over the build for this brand new Lego dreams Izzy and Bunchu the bunny uh, I just wanted to say thanks and to remind people that if you like this video, please consider clicking that thumbs up and giving it a like. And if you like my other videos, please consider clicking the subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all the Lego videos I'll be doing here in the future. Subscribing, liking, commenting, all that stuff really helps my channel grow, so it's very appreciated. And because this set is a dream set, there'll be a few other portions where I'll be going back to building and disassembling stuff and building again. So please bear with me uh, for those short moments and uh, enjoy the rest of the builds and then on to my review of this set. Okay, so that is the first two bags of pieces for this Lego Dreams Izzy and Bunchu the bunny or something. So um, now we move on to where there's options here. So we have one option which looks like kind of roller skates and maybe some different hands or different gloves. And we have another option that maybe makes these into wings and it almost looks like a bee or like a beehive, or like a honey bee or bee stinger or something. So, um, I'm going to build, I guess, the roller skate one first, and then I'll talk about it, and then I'll build the other one, uh, and then I'll talk about that, and then I'll kind of give my thoughts, um, broadly speaking, on this set. But so far, uh, things are pretty good. So, okay, I'm going to be building this, and uh, enjoy. Okay, so here we have the first kind of option here. So we get some additions to the hands and we get these roller skates. I guess maybe I will, I'm not, I haven't figured out how to review these dream sets yet and I haven't seen anybody else's reviews yet um, for uh, anybody that got press versions, but I know some people did. Um, so I might as well just go through everything that's in here, the minifigures and everything, then I'll talk about this thing, and then I'll take that apart and I'll build the next portion. So, like any set, the first thing we can take a look at is the minifigures. Another tremendous minifigure here. Uh, the last one uh, that I had with the Z blob, uh, the minifigure was, well, there was two in that one, but the minifigure was incredible. And this one is as well. We do have the kind of time, uh, what do they call those things? Uh, a timer, a uh, sand thing. <laughs> and it does have the printed tile on top there, which is nice. This new dual molded sword element, gold and kind of a translucent color there, which is excellent. But look at this minifigure. This is just incredible. Tons of detail on the torso, tons of detail on the face, great face printing. Torso even has like up here, it's kind of hard to see, but there's some like metallic looking uh, like st 
spots up there, little fine details, other metallic in here that goes on to the leg or the midsection down onto the legs and the legs we got printing and on the feet. These are dual molded legs. If we look at the back, we have really, really nice printing on the back. Look at that hair piece. That hair piece is kind of that opalescent, satin sort of color, so it's kind of sparkly, translucent. It's an incredible hair piece. So that's really, really nice. We can see there's an alternate face here. It's nice to get these pauldrons in a, I think, a new color, which is very good. So this is just an awesome minifigure, and I have a feeling a lot of these Dreams characters are going to be really fantastic. I think this one is quite, quite good. Uh, maybe even better than the one from the Z blob set. This is great. Uh, these dual molded accessories are really nice too. The, the, uh, this one in particular is very cool to get. We also have a bunny, little bunny here, which looks familiar. So that's nice. I guess maybe that's Bunchu, but maybe this is Bunchu. And then we have kind of like this nightmare guy here with a net. I really liked that they made this a clip. So their arms are sticking out there, but that's a little clip. So they can hold something, this comically big net. Very, very funny. It does have a nice helmet mold with a kind of translucent flame piece on there. And they have a head print as well underneath there, but really nice. I'm excited for these little characters, the, all these nightmare people. Um, really, really a big fan so far. And I, I just love these arms as clip pieces. So that's very, very cool. And then the main part of the build is this kind of mech adjacent type thing. It's like a bunch, it's like a giant bunny thing. Um, and I can compare it to the Z blob thing here. which I think they use some similar parts. As far as size goes, they're pretty similar. I think this, the bunny has more pieces. So these are like comparable, I think, sort of mech adjacent type a deal there, which is cool. Um, I thought from the box that the arms felt a little too thin, a little comically thin, but if the fists are supposed to be like something action, which I, I think they're kind of are, kind of works because then the proportions just feel really nice. The legs are good. The feet are good. There's a lot of good colors in here. I did have some, I thought I was going to have more trouble with some of the different colors, but I think I did everything right. So we got ears. Those are on mixel joints there different uh you know rounded pieces here curls around the fist so this face uh, is a print and this is a print and this is a print no sticker sheet for this set at all which the z blob one did have a sticker sheet uh, we can see we have a nice tail on the back here and there's articulation so at the hips we can move those around we can spin the feet here they're also on a mixel joint ball joint down there so they can be positioned all around they can go forward they can go back so good amount of articulation there as well as these kind of curved pieces here being able to spin all the way around so there's a lot of different poses you can get this in the arms you know we have the, the mixel joint right there kind of at the shoulder no elbow thing but um there's still a good amount of stuff and i think for this type of figure for the like with these hands i think you can kind of do uh enough good stuff that it doesn't really matter that there's no elbows um so i kind of i like the arms a lot more than i thought i was going to head is good ears can be really expressive i think uh and be done in all different ways which is very nice and of course the tail is also on one of those little joints too so that can ball joints there so that can be moved all around the head is on a bigger ball joint in there it's a little recessed so it doesn't have a ton of range of movement but it can kind of look forward kind of look back turn left to right so a good amount of articulation for uh this figure which i didn't think and i actually like it a lot more than i thought of course it can stand on its own and i'm just super thrilled that these are all prints and they're pretty well done so um i don't mind that at all if i'm looking at the white of the eyes there it doesn't look too bad um and yeah all this like little metallic silver detail around uh different stuff is very good and of course we get this nice print as well which might be a useful thing for that hourglass that's the word i was thinking of that i couldn't think of earlier so very nice um and from the back you know pretty bland but i don't know if in some of the later builds for the dreams choices if that's going to be a thing so 
in the third bag of pieces, we get all these extra pieces here. Um, these are the extra pieces that were just for the first two bags. Um, these are the extra pieces that are not for the first portion of the build, for like the build choice, because that's one of the things for these dream sets. So this kind of has like extra stuff on the fists extra golden golden gloves here or, or whatever and then we get these roller skates with these really nice dual molded kind of splat like pieces but this is almost like a big flame or like a uh, something it looks like propulsion color choices here are really good very simple design these go in the backs of those hollow bricks there onto those jumpers so those can fit right on there um, and feel pretty good and then this character can be let me see if i can lean them forward a little bit and they can be on their roller skates uh but they're like powered i think and i think there are different ways to like even have it with like one leg up or try to get it like it is in the picture here and it, it's still pretty stable and i like that and there's maybe even um more ooh, popped it off so not that much but almost um, a whole thing but this can do a kind of a, a skate um, motion it's not super easy because these the way these joints work but it, it's you know it's pretty good and I, I think uh, there's enough posability and that's cool I like the contrast of the colors which is very nice and um, the glove thing they don't really add anything to me uh, the skates are nice though I think those are pretty cool and these pieces are very good so I like the skates I like how they attach uh, and so that's all very good I'm still haven't made up my mind about how I feel about this dreams concept of having kind of choices of what to build because of the leftover pieces here which I noted in my Z blob set but I'll talk a little bit again at the end so now what I'm going to do is um, take this stuff apart and then I'm gonna to put together the alternate kind of build and uh, then I'll come back and review the rest of the set so until then enjoy okay so this is the secondary option for uh, this this set here so it is kind of like a bee bunny bun bee or something um, so instead of the bunny tail we get a more of like a stinger looking thing with uh, some of that yellow in there and then instead of these being propulsion for the skates um, they are turned into wings and uh, then we get a stud spot for a minifigure to be there and uh, maybe some controls up here or something or some other antenna up there between the ears so now this is maybe a, a flighted um, thing here that can fly around this this bunchu uh, I think I like the first one more I thought I was gonna like this more and if it was closer to this I think I would have I wanted um, this this tail and this spinger to be a little more robust when I finished with it I was like wait that's it that's not like this at all um, so I was really hoping it would have you know some like brick built striping or something or like actually you know there's just uh, a lot more in this picture than there is in this build um, so that was a little disappointing to me otherwise I probably would have liked this one more um, it doesn't change a whole lot about it it's still very much like accessories so if that's the deal with uh, these dream sets it's kind of like you can do one kind of accessory or kind of do another kind of accessory I guess that's fine I don't hold on one moment I don't personally well I haven't quite made my mind up for how I feel about that yet um, because as you can see like these are the pieces that were used for this one the other one used all these wheel pieces these pieces all these yellow uh, pins these pieces so there's like a lot of pieces here that were in the roller skates that weren't in these wings and the stinger and there are a lot of pieces or not a ton but there were some pieces that were in the stinger and wings that weren't in the roller blades and I'm still sort of left with the feeling that uh, extra pieces that are not included in a set um, ha are prone or are likely to maybe get misplaced or lost or not be like super available so that 
uh, one who is playing with this can easily swap between these two. Not to mention, um, they they would, uh, you know, you have to take some things apart. I actually think you could probably do, you might be able to still make skates, uh, whether or not they fit um, to be studded on here is, is up in the air. I'm not sure if I have enough to put like two of these with another thing between them and then the two jumpers um so i don't think you can even just make like a, a basic skate with these wheels and stuff and these pieces without all this stuff it seems like there's still stuff in here um that needs to be used uh so um in order for it to work with the bunny you'd have to kind of take stuff apart and i haven't made my mind up for that yet because i'm not i haven't figured out uh or gleaned sort of what the deal is and how you're supposed to go about this maybe it's supposed to just you do one of them and that's the one you like maybe it's supposed to be to swap between them maybe it's just nice to have options and i guess that's fine um it does inflate the piece count it also like i said like i, I think i liked the roller skates um it used more of the pieces it was still super basic and like the hand things didn't really add too too much um and then I'm still left with like leftover pieces, these stingers pieces and stuff that um, if those aren't in the main build, you know, or in the build, where do they go? And I am a little concerned that they will get misplaced or something. So I really like this set. Um, this set is 259 pieces. It's got prints, nicely done prints. It's got some good dual molded pieces. It's got some interesting colors. Color blocking is nice. I like the contrast between like the accessories and all the stuff that's in here. An incredible minifigure. Uh, and we get the small little bunny and the like nightmare person thing. Uh, but this minifigure, uh, Izzy, is really, 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 really good. And their accessories are really, really good as well. Um, as far as the main build, like, I liked this. There's a lot of articulation in here. Uh, and it just feels good. It feels like a good toy. I think $20 is a pretty good price for this, considering the prints, the minifigure, the specialized pieces. 259 pieces for $20. I think this is slightly more pieces than the Z Blob set. Um, that one had stickers. This one has no stickers. That one did have like an extra minifigure, I think, um, and kind of a different little side buildy thing. Um, and then also had its accessory stuff. And the accessories for that one, I think, like changed the main thing a little bit more, but also not a ton. And I still had the same concerns about um, what to do with these leftover pieces. And uh, hopefully someone has an answer. If you have a feeling about it, please leave it in the comments below and let me know if you're gonna get dreams, how you're gonna handle this kind of stuff. And um, maybe it's answered in the show, I don't know. But I'm, I'm excited for this line to come out and uh, I've had a lot of fun building them. I think this is a good set, I think this is a good value set. I'm just a little bit, um, I haven't figured it out yet. I just haven't figured it out. So. Uh, Please let me know in the comments what your thoughts are, and um, yeah, and if you like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and clicking that like button, and if you like the other videos on my channel, please consider clicking the subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all the LEGO videos I'll be doing here in the future, including more LEGO Dreams, probably, maybe more sets that release on August 1st that I was able to get early. Um, and then just tons of other Lego sets from all different themes, all different shapes, sizes, price points, piece counts, tons of different stuff, and some different Lego content besides builds and reviews uh, coming up. And so um, if you're interested, please subscribe. It helps me a lot. And then if you want to support this channel, the best way to do that is over at the SoBricks Patreon. And uh, that's patreon.com slash SoBricks. And over there, you can join for $2 a month, and uh, you can get access to all my videos early, access to some exclusive videos, or any of the key Q&As, live streams, um, and a bunch of other stuff over there. And you can get your name at the end of our, my videos as kind of like a credit section for supporters. Every little bit helps. So um, maybe consider checking that out. It is appreciated. And with all of that said, until next time, thanks. Bye.